I am excited to show you how to make buffalo chicken flatbread today. Now this is such an easy recipe and a great way to use up leftover chicken if you've got it and to add a kick to it. So I'm going to start by, we'll start with my dough. So if you've got leftover flatbread or pita or if you have some pizza dough already, use that. You can use whatever it is that you want. We just want a simple, simple base here to add all of our other flavors to. You can use ranch dressing or uh, blue cheese dressing, whatever it is that you've got. So I'm going to just use ranch dressing because, I mean, come on, it's ranch dressing, right? So I'm just smearing the ranch dressing on the flatbread. Just get it nice and even. You don't need a really, really thick coat. You just want enough to cover it. And you can always have more to, to drizzle on at the end. And then next, I will put my chicken on here. So I've got some chicken in here. It's just plain cooked chicken that is left over and I will be adding some hot sauce to it. Use whatever hot sauce you like and you know, I can't tell you how much hot sauce to put in it. I'm just using my hands because I forgot another spoon. Um, use how much you want because you want it to be your level of spice and not necessarily mine. And maybe add less and then add more later on. So I'm just sprinkling the chicken. Gonna keep it a little bit evenly spaced so most bites have some chicken. And I have. I usually cook chicken tenders because they cook up really quickly and are easy. I, ha I have them that are frozen, so that's what I cooked up here. Right, and I'll be adding some vegetables. Use vegetables if you like them on pizza, don't if you don't. I just like to have pizza as a way to use up whatever I've got in my fridge. And it's a great way to add different textures and flavors throughout um, in, in so many different ways. I will be adding the vegetables and then the cheese because the cheese will help keep the vegetables in its spot so when you cut it then they're not going everywhere. I've got some caramelized onions. I cooked those with the chicken. You're welcome to have those raw or cook them ahead of time just depending on if you want a little added sweetness to this then caramelize the onions. If you want them to be softer caramelize the onions if you don't care then don't, save yourself a little bit of time. I also have some farm, some garden zucchini that I wanted to use up, so I'm, or yellow squash, I guess. So that I've got that, and I also have some corn. So you, there's so many vegetables that would be good on this. Use whatever you have on hand, whatever you like. Um, I don't know if tomatoes would be so good, but I guess it would be worth trying. And, just use what you've got and then I've got some green onions as well just to add a little bit of a kind of a um, a little bit of a spice kick to it those are also from the garden so they're great so it's so easy just to add as many as you want fill it up as much as you want but I have some fresh mozzarella and then also some cheddar cheese you can use shredded mozzarella you can use pepper jack cheese you can use Monterey Jack cheese you can use a lot of different cheeses um, blue cheese is also fantastic on this because it's a super traditional pairing. If you like blue cheese, definitely use that on it. So I'm just sprinkling the cheddar on here and then we'll lay down the mozzarella that I have. Again, like I said before, I put the cheese on last because I want, I want everything to stay in as well as it can. And putting the, the toppings on top of the cheese sometimes makes it easy for them to to fall off, to go, to get everywhere, and I kind of look at this as kind of a cover to keep everything in place. So I can get even bites of what I want and have a really great tasting pizza. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle the rest on top. So now this is all assembled, I will just put it in a 500 degree oven and cook it for about seven to 10 minutes. All right, here we go. So here is the finished flatbread. So I will now cut my pizza and it will be ready to eat. So here we go. Here is the pizza. I can, I can smell some sweet and some tangy and it just looks so good.